All right, guys, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to check your current waveform of your starter when you're bench testing with an oscilloscope. All right, for this one, we're going to be using the Maxiscope, and we are also going to be using ES. 697 amp clamp. This is a 400. Uh, this one's able to measure for up to 400 amps, so it's perfect for st testing out a starter. Um, now, why would you want to do this this style of test on the bench? So, one of the main reasons is check the ma the maximum uh, amperage that your starter is able to put out. Now, to, you can find that in your service manual. This starter right here is supposed to put out a maximum of a hundred amps when turned on on bench. So, another reason that you might want to do this is, let's just say you have an intermittent no start and all you're hearing is a click, 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 click from your starter and you want to see if maybe your, uh, your segments inside the starter are showing up as an open or a dropout or something like that. Or even if there might be a hard start, you'll be able to see that onto the scope also doing, while doing a bench test. So, now what we're going to do is take and hook up the uh, amp clamp to the, uh, to the scope and I don't have a BNC scope uh, connect, um, I don't have a BNC amp clamp but I do have a banana amp clamp and what we are going to be doing for that is taking and hooking this guy up to here. Now this is a, just a BNC to banana connector that I bought online, I think I paid about $8 for it but it gives a little bit more versatility to the, the scope and you can actually take your amp clamps that you already have if you have a banana style and able to put it on. Now if you have the new style of banana jacks where you have the protective layer over it, what you're going to have to do is actually just take and remove these guys in order to put the banana jacks on. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. All right, so now that that's taken off, now when you take off your little caps, okay, if you want to put them back on, the way to remember that is that this guy has a little nib onto it and that is your ground, okay? So we'll put those aside, we'll take my clamps, we'll put, uh, my jacks, we'll put those on. Perfect. Now we're going to start the scope. If it starts, there we go. Now what we're going to do is take and set it to 400. And we're going to zero it. Okay, after you press the zero button, take and open your amp clamp a little bit, a couple of times. That way it'll remove any residual uh, amperage that might be picking up around the clamp. All right, so here we see that there is a lot of noise onto the scope. Now I'm gonna show you guys a trick with the Hotel Maxi scope that most people might not know of. If you go over here to your settings, okay, and we go to low pass filtering, it says in kilohertz, we'll set it to one kilohertz and we'll press activate. Then we'll press back. And as you can see, all that noise is gone now. Now, what we're gonna do now is come up again to the little anvil, no not anvil, the little mallet uh, button and we're going to go to select pro. Now I don't have the, six, uh, the 650 but I do have the four, uh, 400 so we're just going to click on the 650, we're going to press back and now it's set up into 200 amps. So that's more than enough to test out the starter. Now we're going to try zero it again and now it's zeroed out. It's very, very sensitive. Okay? So, now after that is done, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take our ant clamp and we're gonna put it, place it around our positive or negative wire, it doesn't matter. If, you're, if you don't see your signal, take your ant clamp, just flip it around, and that way you will get a reading on the screen. You can also set a trigger, but for this case, we're not going to. 
So now what I'm going to do is power up the starter and we're going to see if we are able to get a reading. And we have a reading of about 82 amps, give or take. I'm using a booster pack so I can crank it a little bit more on bench. So we're going to take that and we're going to do that one more time. And I'm going to pause it. And when you're doing this test, what you want to look for is in inconsistencies into the system. Okay. So we have about 80 amps, uh, give or take. Uh, can measure that real quick. Give you guys a real number there. So we're about 77.5 amps onto the system. Now, this particular starter I actually opened up because there was an issue onto the, onto the car. And the issue was that every now and then it would not start. So I'm going to show you guys what the first uh, image, I actually took some images and I'm going to show you guys what those were. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back. I'm going to go all the way over to data manager. I'm going to go to image. That star, the way that the starter looks right now isn't what it looked like when I first uh, got it. Okay, this is the, ori the original uh, image for the starter. As you can see, it's not consistent at all. I'm up to 90 amps and there's really like no it just doesn't look uh, like what a starter waveform should look like onto a bench. Now, this one, if I'm not mistaken, was the new one. Uh, starter after. Yeah, this is after I uh, opened it up. And I cleaned, uh, well, I didn't really clean. But I repositioned the brushes as best as I could. Because when the brushes on the inside were actually broken. So, I repositioned them. And, as you can see, it's more consistent now. Then if I back up, uh, this is a brand new, the brand new starter that went into the car because I changed it because I didn't want to take the chance of it leaving go again. But as you can see, pretty consistent all the way through. And if we go back to the first one, you can see that it's not consistent at all. So there was definitely an issue inside of the starter for that. And like I said, I found the brushes not to be uh, seating properly and there was a bunch of uh, material that was found on the inside also. And after that, well, that basically concludes the video. I just wanted to show you, give you guys a quick uh, view of how to test a starter on bench. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.